Over the last 18 months, the Falcor 2 has undergone a massive transformation and retrofit to turn it into the first class research vessel that it is today. And that's enabling the science that we're doing in the lab right now, which is uh, all the way from working on the Sebastian ROV, bringing up samples and then processing waters and corals and, and samples within the lab. So we are off of the coast of Puerto Rico right now, and we're going to be uh, exploring mesophotic and deep sea corals along the west and southwest portion of Puerto Rico. And that's ROV off deck. Roger that. ROV fully submerged. We've been planning this expedition for four or five years now, and so uh, this is very exciting to finally be here and uh, knowing that we have good weather, we have uh, a site that we have some information about uh, that we are really looking forward to exploring. We are live from RV Falcor 2. Welcome aboard. Uh, my name is Sophia, I'm the multimedia technician and I have the honor of bringing you the stream today. Colleen Hansel's at the helm over there as the science lead. Say hi Colleen. My group studies a group of chemicals called the reactive oxygen species. We call them ROS or ROS, and ROS are oxygen intermediates. So you can think of them as a really reactive form of oxygen. What we have seen in shallow reef environments is that coral species that tend to be more resilient towards thermal stress, towards uh, pathogen infection, have much higher concentrations of superoxide. Lower. Okay, do it, fire it. Yes. yes! Well done. So we believe that this is serving kind of like an armor. If these chemicals are in fact protecting corals, then we may be able to help corals armor themselves from stress by better understanding the controls that promote their formation. We're here on the Falcor 2 to, to, to ask some novel questions about carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen cycling uh, in these environments. The, the real centerpiece of the cruise is reactive oxygen species. These are short-lived radical compounds that Colleen Hansel is really specialized in studying. We have very few measurements of, of these chemicals within the ocean because they have a really short lifetime. So we don't really know why these corals are making them, when do they make these reactive oxygen species, at what concentrations is it toxic, at what concentrations is it beneficial. And we have this wonderful team of chemists and biologists and engineers all working together to try to understand this, this process that we know nothing about within the ocean.